Fort Campbell Warrior Transition Battalion soldiers and staff participated in an endurance ride called the Bluegrass Rendezvous. Battalion Commander Lieutenant Colonel Sean Butler says the ride is both challenging and therapeutic. Uh, the last two days we did, uh, on Thursday and Friday, we did two 100 mile cycling days. Uh, the first day was a bit rainy, where about 80 of the 100 miles was in sheer wind and rain. And then on Friday we did another 100 miles and it was uh, a perfect day to ride. So, and it's just a way to show these soldiers who are wounded, ill and injured that you know, you can still be physically active and do things and challenge yourself uh, to accomplish things you never thought you could do before. WTBs provide personalized support to wounded, ill, and injured soldiers who require at least six months of rehabilitative care and complex medical management. For some of these soldiers, the Bluegrass Rendezvous is a recovery goal. WTB Soldier Staff Sergeant Michael Hale explains how he felt after completing the endurance ride. A uh, little sore, a little tired, but also exhilarated because I was able to complete a milestone that a lot of people in their lives does not do. Um, typically riding 200 miles in two days, a lot of times, you know, people don't think they can do that. It just lets me know that there's nothing I can't do if I don't want to do it and put my mind to it, I can do it. Hale suffered broken bones and crushed hips during a deployment to Iraq. Unable to run, recumbent cycling has enabled Hale to enjoy physical activity again. Lieutenant Todd Kuzma, head of the battalion's adaptive reconditioning program, explains how soldiers at the WTB find new ways to stay active. We have a team of physical and occupational therapists that tailor um, their treatment of each soldier depending upon their positive profile or what the physical therapist says they can do with the injuries that they have. Enduring multiple surgeries and treatment for stage 4 cancer, specialist Weston Stevens, now cancer free, says bike riding at the WTB is helping him prepare for his return to duty. Well so far it's got my endurance back up, it's got my lungs to where they need to be. Fighting cancer was not an easy battle and this is really push me to my extremes, push myself and push my body. In the end, Battalion Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Pelham said everybody at the battalion helped make this year's ride possible. 32 people rode, but it, it was pretty much a battalion effort. So with, with some of the S, other STs and stuff helped because they couldn't ride, and then all the, all the cadre had a, and a part of it. You know, We worked for, for this for months, um, coordinating with the local police departments. It's a group effort, and if it's not a group effort, it, it wouldn't work. For Blanchfield Army Community Hospital, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I'm Maria Yeager.